Hello students. So now in this video, we will discuss about uh, different types of RNA, different types of ribonucleic acids. So we can uh, classify the RNA basically into two types. In some acellular organisms, we should remember this point. Only in acellular organisms, what are those acellular organisms? Viruses. So in these viruses, RNA can behave as genetic material. So that's why the RNA which is behaving as genetic material can be called as genetic RNA. Genetic RNA. And this genetic RNA, which is present only in viruses, okay, maybe single stranded or it can be even double stranded. And this RNA generally is doesn't require DNA. Only in some viruses. It will undergo reverse transcription and produces DNA and from DNA RNAs are formed. But in majority of these RNA viruses, the RNA can uh, replicate on its own inside the host cell. So let us see the examples for these uh, single standard RNAs and this single standard RNA is commonly seen among plant viruses like tobacco mosaic virus which is abbreviated as TMV okay and uh, cabbage mosaic virus CMV cauliflower mosaic virus again CMV null coal mosaic virus like KMV tobacco mosaic virus cauliflower mosaic virus cabbage mosaic virus Null coal mosaic virus. These are all uh, plant viruses, and uh, in these plant viruses, the RNA is single stranded. And let us see in some viruses, like wound tumor virus, Rio virus, rice dwarf virus, rice dwarf virus. Maize rough dwarf virus, blue tongue virus, and bacteriophage 5 6. In all these uh, viruses, the DNA is double stranded. Don't forget that generally the single stranded is represented or denoted by SS, and double stranded is represented by DS. And when we come to the cellular organisms, that is both uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes, remember that both nucleic acids are present in these prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and the DNA is always double stranded, and uh, the RNA is always single stranded. And in all these cellular organisms, RNA is not behaving as genetic material, instead it is behaving as non-genetic material. So we call it about non-genetic RNA. And uh, this non-genetic RNA is mainly involved uh, in uh, protein synthesis. Mainly involved in protein synthesis. And uh, we find uh, different types here. There is three types of RNAs. There is one is messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA, transfer RNA, which are generally abbreviated as mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. But you have to remember uh, the alternate names of uh, this uh, tRNA. It is called as transfer RNA, translator RNA, adopter RNA, 
as well as soluble RNA. So you have to memorize these uh, names. And we know that uh, this messenger RNA will bring the message from uh, the DNA for the formation of a protein. That's why it is called a messenger RNA. And the ribosomal RNA is a structural uh, uh, RNA because it is involved in the formation of ribosomes. It is present in uh, the ribosomes. Because uh, uh, I hope you remember, already you have studied in cell biology, that ribosome is chemically composed of only two things. What are they? Riboproteins and rRNA. And uh, so the ribosomes are essential for protein synthesis. And uh, the ribosomes will have uh, two subunits, smaller subunit and larger subunit. And in the larger subunit, you will find one enzyme that is peptidyl transferase, which is nothing but uh, ribosomal RNA. It is 23S rRNA in prokaryotes. And it is 28S rRNA in eukaryotes will behave as peptidyl transferase. So these two are behaving as peptidyl transferase. Which establishes a peptide bond between two amino acids. That is ribosomal RNA. And what this transfer RNA? It is called transfer RNA because it transfers the amino acids from the cytoplasmic pool to the place of uh, uh, protein synthesis, that is to the ribosomes. That is why it is called transfer RNA. Then why it is called translator RNA? Because uh, the genetic information brought by mRNA will be in the form of uh, codons and this coded information is decoded by tRNA. That is why it is also called as translator RNA. Okay, now uh, uh, we have to remember some of uh, the important uh, points about these three different types of non-genetic RNAs. Okay. And messenger RNA is always uh, uh, exists in a straight form or it is a linear molecule. Okay. And its uh, molecular weight is 5 into 10 power 5 Dalton's molecular weight. And uh, uh, when you okay, count uh, the percentage in relation with all these three, so it accounts for 5 to 10 percent of the total cellular RNA. 5 to 10 percent of total cellular RNA. And remember that this messenger RNA in prokaryotes is mostly polycystronic. What does it mean? Remember that uh, what is cystron actually? Cystron is a unit of DNA having information for the formation of a polypeptide chain or we can say a protein. Cystron is a unit having information for the formation of a protein or a polypeptide. So the mRNA if it is having many cystronic information, information for many proteins then it is called polycystronic. So, remember this is a very important point and it is mostly polycystonic in prokaryotes. And when we come to eukaryotes, generally the mRNA will have information for one protein. So, it is called monocystonic mRNA. Okay, when we come to the ribosomal RNA, so you will find this, uh, uh, it is present within uh, the ribosome. So it is a structural RNA, structural molecule. 
and it exists in uh, uh, different forms uh, means what different sizes or different fragments 5s rrna 5.8s rrna 16s rrna 18s rrna 23s rrna and 28s rrna and uh, all these uh, uh, exist in uh, like this means what uh, a, a pseudo helix because it is single stranded and for uh, the true helix uh, two strands are required but here uh, uh, it forms what pseudo helix or pseudo helices with the molecular weight 10 lakh daltons and uh, it is the largest rna means 80% uh, of total cellular rna is represented by ribosomal rna itself and when we come to this trna generally this trna will exist in uh, uh, clover leaf in uh, two dimensional uh, u 2d and in uh, 3d it will appear in the form of uh, inverted uh, l letter and don't forget that uh, this inverted L letter is uh, essential for uh, uh, this RNA to function. It will function only in the form of uh, this uh, three dimensional structure. Of course, uh, uh, it is uh, the smallest RNA having only 75 to 80 nucleotides. It is made up of only 75 to 80 nucleotides. That's why the molecular weight is also in thousands, 25,000 Daltons molecular weight. And uh, when it comes to the percentage, so it uh, accounts for 10 to 15 percent of total cellular RNA. So in terms of uh, uh, percentage, the first position goes to ribosomal RNA and the second position goes to tRNA and the third position goes to this uh, messenger RNA. Okay. So, all these three are required for protein synthesis. So, from this we can understand that uh, in all uh, cellular organisms that is both uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes the RNA is behaving as non-genetic RNA and it is working for uh, protein synthesis in how many forms? Three forms that is messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA. That is about uh, the types of RNAs.